scientific breakthrough. 13,000 years after the last dire wolf walked the earth, scientists say they've now brought, brought them back, back. An, instinct, an extinct animal, if I can get it out, for the first time ever. For the first time in history, an extinct species for thousands of years has been revived by scientists. These are the dire wolves, terrifying creatures that we've only seen in the popular series Game of Thrones. Has science finally cracked the code to bring back the dead? Are we now entering a new chapter in science? An era where woolly mammoths might one day walk the tundra again? And even the idea of bringing back dinosaurs no longer feels entirely out of reach. In an announcement that shocked the scientific community, Colossal Biosciences revealed that they've finally resurrected dire wolves. A breakthrough in its truest sense. The company first made waves with their audacious goal to bring back the woolly mammoth, the dodo, and the Tasmanian tiger. What we've been introduced to may look like nothing more than three charming, wide-eyed pups. But, don't be deceived with their cuteness. They belong to the fierce lineage of one of history's most formidable predators. To truly grasp the significance of this breakthrough, we need to journey back in time and get to know this remarkable species. The Dire Wolf. A name that literally means, Terrible Wolf. It lived up to its fearsome reputation for it was an apex predator of ancient North America during the late Pleistocene epoch. With a bone-crushing bite force nearly 130% stronger than that of today's gray wolf, it dominated the wild for nearly a quarter of a million years. They possessed a formidable stature with light-colored fur. Every muscle, every feature was honed for dominance. The dire wolf was built for sheer strength, not agility. With a more muscular and robust build compared to both ancient and modern wolves, it was well equipped to hunt and bring down even large prey. Their skulls reached up to 12 inches in length and teeth that were not just larger, but far more robust than those of today's gray wolves. These teeth were built for crushing bone and tearing through even the toughest prey. Dire wolf fossils have been discovered throughout North and South America, highlighting the vast territory once ruled by this formidable predator. One of the most significant fossil sites is the La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, where thousands of dire wolf remains have been recovered. A recent discovery of a partial jaw in China hints at an even more extraordinary possibility. This ancient species may have crossed the Bering Land Bridge into Asia. Though they shared a striking resemblance to today's gray wolves and jackals, dire wolves possessed a unique genetic lineage that set them apart. Unlike gray wolves and jackals, which can interbreed with other canid species, there's no evidence of dire wolves ever crossing their genetic line with any other canids. This genetic isolation may just have been the biggest contributor on why they eventually disappeared from the face of the earth. But, experts are also looking at climate change as another contributor towards its unfortunate extinction. As temperatures warmed, the large prey that dire wolves relied on began to die out. Meanwhile, gray wolves and coyotes, which were smaller, faster, and more agile, were able to adapt by hunting smaller animals. Fossils recovered from the La Brea tar pits offered a telling clue, a noticeable reduction in size over time. This shift was likely a desperate adaptation to worsening conditions, driven by food shortages and escalating nutritional stress. So, how did the scientists bring this ancient species back to life? To resurrect a creature lost to the Ice Age, Colossal's scientists began with a pair of remarkably preserved dire wolf fossils. From these ancient bones, they extracted fragments of DNA. By comparing these sequences to the DNA of modern canids like wolves, jackals, and foxes, the team identified the genetic signatures that once defined the dire wolf. Examples of these traits were dense white coats, long robust fur, and a physique built for dominance. With those traits in mind, they moved to the next phase, using blood cells from living gray wolves, the dire wolf's closest living relative. Armed with clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats or CRISPR technology, the team carefully edited the gray wolf's genome, making 20 targeted genetic changes. Specific gray wolf genes were cut away and replaced with dire wolf markers creating a hybrid genome. Using the edited cells, embryos were created and implanted into large domestic dogs that served as surrogate mothers. After several months, a cesarean section delivered two puppies, Romulus and Remus. A third pup, a female named Kalesi, 
was born later on January 30th of this year. Now these revolutionary pups roam freely across a sprawling 2,000-acre site in a secret location, safely enclosed by 10-foot-high zoo-grade fencing. Their every move is carefully watched, with security teams, drones, and live camera feeds keeping a constant eye on them. Perhaps, they're currently the world's most valuable pups. Given the significant investment poured into these wolves, Colossal has made sure no detail is overlooked in their care. The facility meets the highest standards, fully certified by the American Humane Society and officially registered with the U.S. Department of Agriculture. These dire wolves are off to a promising start. They're eating well, growing stronger each day. Indeed, a brighter future is ahead of the de-extinction space. With this breakthrough, we might get ahead of ourselves. Suddenly, the idea of seeing real dinosaurs, not in books or on screens, but walking, breathing, living, feels like something that could happen within our lifetime. But this might be too visionary, yet Colossal is charging ahead with bold ambition. Their next target? The woolly mammoth. If their plans stay on course, these long-lost giants of the Ice Age could be roaming the Earth once more by 2028. As expected, not everyone is swayed by Colossal's bold claims. Critics argue that the company has focused on altering just a few key genes that create visually striking traits, features that captivate the modern eye and stir excitement. These changes may have fooled the public into thinking that we now have again the dire wolves. But the reality is far from this. The company didn't do de-extinction or conservation. Rather, they've created something new. To them, the company has assumed the role of gods, wielding the power to conjure life and mold new creatures to match human desire and design. They've also raised concerns about the dangers of true de-extinction, warning that it could have unforeseen consequences and disrupt fragile ecosystems. In the end, it all comes down to one big question. Should we really be digging into the past to bring back species that vanished centuries ago just because science says we can? Or are we messing with something that was never meant to be undone? The lure to bring these creatures back is powerful. But in our opinion, perhaps it's time to step back and respect the natural balance. There are reasons why dinosaurs or mammoths have stopped existing on our planet. Their extinction wasn't random. It was nature's response to a changing world, a reset written in time. But what are your thoughts about this? If you've enjoyed our video, we hope you can subscribe to our channel. See you on our next one.